Physics. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about de Broglie's wavelength. Now, this equation was developed in 1924. For his PhD thesis, Louis de Broglie suggested that in exactly the same way as photons, particles of light, have both wave-like properties. For example, in Jung's double slit, we know that light can interfere, it can diffract, which are wave-like properties. But also, the photoelectric effect, explained by Albert Einstein, showed that light also has particle properties as well. So, what Louis de Broglie suggested was that all matter has wave-like properties as well. Here's the equation which he developed, and this is known as the de Broglie's wavelength. This equation is given in your formula booklet. We can see that the wavelength, lambda, is equal to h, Planck's constant, divided by the momentum of the particle. We know that this is probably going to be quite a tiny wavelength because h, remember, is very, very small, 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34. And that's going to be divided by the momentum. From GCSE and from mechanics, you should know that momentum stands for mass multiplied by the velocity of the particle. Okay, well, let's apply this to a simple problem. We've got an electron moving at 5 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. And what we need to do is find out the de Broglie wavelength. Well, if that's the case, all we need to do is plug numbers into the equation. And we can see that this is going to be equal to Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34, divided by the mass of an electron, 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31, times the speed. This together gives us the momentum. And uh, if we plug those numbers into a scientific calculator, we're going to get an answer of 1.46 times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. Notice something. Because the size of the atom is about 10 to the power of minus 10, such a wavelength is similar to the atomic spacing. And in fact, this is how this theory was first experimentally uh, discovered by studying the, uh, the nature of crystals by shooting through uh, electrons through crystals. What researchers observed to their amazement was a diffraction pattern. That was simply because the size of the wavelength was comparable to the uh, size of the size of the gap. And this is how Louis de Broglie's uh, de Broglie's theory was experimentally confirmed. We're going to need to use this equation, both for, uh, for our latest assignment, if you're in my physics class on Isaac Physics, and uh, additionally, this uh, is important for our understanding of quantum mechanics and the specification of the course. Uh, excellent stuff. More about wave-particle duality very, very soon. Please remember to subscribe and give us a like.